Alright, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Super here and welcome to another Mortal Kombat X video. Hold on, let me put my headset on, I should have been more prepared here. Alright, it's on. So, I've been thinking about showing off some of my personal favorite combos in this game. I've, I think I've done a video before of other specific combos, including my Hunter Predator combo, showing off how to do it. So, it could be sort of like... Maybe not really a challenge because realistically these combos aren't so hard that it's a challenge to get them. You know what? It, it should be a challenge to get them online. That is definitely something that could be fun to present some sort of challenge hitting these online. So if any of you want to try this, any of these three combos that I'm going to show you guys today. Wait, hold on. Let me see. It's going to be an Ermac one. It's going to be a Reptile one. And well... The Big Daddy Goro combo isn't really a challenge, to be honest, but it's that one at least should be fun. So, I'm going to show you guys three of my favorite combos. Last time I showed my Hunter Predator combo, so I'm not going to do that one. But if any of you guys hit this online, definitely send me a video about it on Twitter. And, I don't know, I'll like throw a compilation together of people who are actually hit, hit these specific combos in an actual match. And I'm going to explain specific criteria for these combos all right so we're gonna start off here with reptile reptile, reptile nimble variation and then the other easy one with actually goro there believe it or not since he has a giant hitbox there's combos that don't work on goro that work on every other character for example the sonic fox combo doesn't work on goro properly you have to time it way differently than uh than any other character all right, so Spectra Ermac. Spectra Ermac's combo is going to be very simple as far as execution-wise, but it's going to be difficult to put yourself in the situation to get a brutality finish with the combo. That's the challenging part, and I've only done it once. Uh, I came up with, like, the ending, a way to get a brutality with the meter burn teleport after the lift, or not after the lift, after the, uh, the float, and there's only like a 5% window that you could have in order to get the Brutality. So you can't be... There's a 5% window that you have to get your opponent into in order to actually be able to get it in a combo. But first, we're going to start off with, I think, the most execution-heavy combo in this entire game. And it's the full-screen Nimble Reptile combo. So it looks something like... I hope I could get it in a decent amount of tries. If not, I'm just going to put the combo in. Because it is pretty difficult for me to get, even just in training mode. So the requirement is going to be you have to do it from full screen. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, right here. But it could be somewhere, like, right here. Wherever, like, training mode resets from the left side to the right side or the right side to the left side. It pretty much just has to be full screen. And this is pretty much full screen. So let me see if I could do this. I'll explain to you guys how to do it. But this combo is actually really, I find it really difficult to get. Maybe Reptile mains, it'll be a lot easier for them. Forward twos, forward fours, all day. This is what I love doing. Whenever I'm, like, at home, she's not doing anything. I love just sitting in training mode, practicing some of these harder combos, because it helps my execution with, you know, simple combos, but... That's how you do it. Well, you could add another, uh... You could add another meter burn, uh, slide to it, or a regular slide. But that's pretty much the gist of the combo. So... You could actually get it if you just do the regular force ball, but it's way harder in execution. So the combo, it's pretty much a repetition. You just start off with forward four, call your slowdown, do forward two into dash. And then after that is forward four all the way down to the other side of the corner. And then once you hit the other side of the corner and you're close enough, you do uh, forward one. And then meter burn force ball in order to actually make it easier on yourself to combo it. See if I could do it again. It was hard enough for me to do it once, damn it.
I have actually never gotten this myself in a real combo. I mean, in a real match. So this would be actually a good challenge for me to do. For myself. Man, the repetition kind of gets into your head sometimes. And you do something too early, too late. See, it's close right there. Was doing something too late. Alright, so that's like just pretty much the basic bread and butter. Well, not bread and butter. That's the combo right there. I think that is probably in the top five of like hardest combos to hit execution wise because of the repetition. You do it so many times. I think you do forward four into, um, into dash like five times. Let me see. Let me actually see if I could maybe do it one more time. Couple tries. I just want. I'm curious to know how many repetitions it is. So that would be one. Then how many forward four repetitions? So that would be two. So it's four repetitions, and then towards the end you do forward uh forward four one. So if any of you guys can hit that combo, that's actually one of my favorite combos to practice because I feel. I feel really good and accomplished after doing that specific combo. So that's probably my favorite combo other than my Hunter Predator combo. All right, next up here, we got Error Macro. Let me actually, oh, I can't put, I can't have it be specific, a specific amount of damage. Hold on. Let me see. I want, I wish I could put it at 35%. How much is that? Two? So that's six. Let me just show you guys an example, right? That's the opponent has 36% right now. Wow, that was great. All right. Then I say this one was easy. All right, so you guys see that. The opponent has 36% and he was left with the magic pick, so he was left with 1% because I told you there's a 5% window that you have to be at in order to get this brutality to end or get this combo to end in the meter burn teleport brutality into this. That's what you want. I've only gotten this once. And depending on what combo string you use, it's going to be different damage. For example, back three is going to be different damage than forward four. So that one's 35% as well, I guess. This one, is, I know for sure. I think this one is 33. There you go. 33% at the end. So in that specific one, which is actually the one that I hit online, it's a 3% window that you have in order to get that brutality. So I'm actually impressed with myself a little bit more now than I was before because I was looking at the 5% window, but 30% to... 33% is actually pretty impressive. 3% window. I think this one forward, this one is also 35%. No, that one's actually 33, so okay. So because there's different variations as well, you could actually end it a little bit uh, sooner if the opponent has a little bit less life. You could just do these two. So that's 27%, but it's still around the same 3% window. 4%, 5% window. So it's going to be tricky no matter what because there's no, there's not too many uh, little slashes to indicate how much life your opponent has, like how much exact life they have. So that's a challenge in of itself. It's not really the execution on these combos. It's not the execution part, but it's uh, the fact that you have to specifically look at how much life the opponent has to in the combo into brutality so that's the ermac combo right there that i want you guys to try if you want i'm just showing you guys some fun little combos something that you guys could try online yourselves and oh actually i just saw this combo recently hold on i think uh i saw it on twitter i don't know if this is actually a ninja killer combo but somebody posted it on twitter i thought it looked fucking awesome So I'll show you guys that combo, why not? I don't really know the specifics on 
how many spits, how many forward fours. This is such a creative combo, man. I had no idea that... Well, I knew you could do what you... Like, meter burn into another meter burn slide at the end, but... This is a really creative idea for a combo. I didn't even finish it. So that at the end, you could obviously do another one of those. Um, the combo is actually pretty hard. Like the situation is kind of hard as well to get. Um, but it does, in the video that I saw online, it did 56, but I'm doing 54. I must be not doing an extra spit, but I didn't really like pay attention to the specific order. I just wanted to try it and, uh, you know, see, see if I could do it. You have to be pretty quick with the... Uh, with the cough. Oh, you actually have a good amount of time. Yeah, see, it's funny because I feel like execution-wise, this combo that I showed you guys is actually harder than this combo. But since I don't have the practice with this one, I'm failing this one a lot more than I did the other one. There you go. 54% with the double meter burn slide. I think this is what I saw on Twitter. I think that's the ninja killer combo. It's the first time I've ever seen that. I wouldn't be surprised because he's by far the best Mortal Kombat X player of all time. So I wouldn't be surprised, obviously. Uh, so this last one, let's check out this last one. This one's actually uh, execution wise, kind of the same as Spectra Ermac. It's not really difficult. Uh, it's more the situation and depending on what combo you want to do with Big Daddy Goro. Uh, there's a couple variations which you guys have seen me do. There's the uh, the flame one, the flame spit one, and then there's the, uh, the teleport one. Uh, there's the command grab one. I'll show you guys all three variations that you could try out. But obviously, I did not come up with this Goro combo. I just saw it and I was like, holy... God, that is so cool. And it converted me from being uh, primarily, or at least my favorite variation was the Cool Ton Warrior, converted me to uh, Tigrar Fury as my favorite variation. So this was the initial combo that I watched somebody somebody's clip from, uh, from Twitter. Wait, what was it again? <laughs> I don't do this one anymore. I do some of the other ones, some of the other variations that I... Uh, that I practiced i don't want to say i came up with because i don't want to take credit for something like that but i did some uh, brutality variations with the meter burn grabs and stuff man the command grab is actually difficult sometimes because of the motion wait what was is it what's a command grab Oh, I was doing the wrong move. The command grab was with three. Duh. I was doing it with... There you go. So this is 55%, right? Boom, the slam does 5%. I always thought that was cool. It does 55%. You could do that combo by itself. But obviously, if you want to finish the opponent off with the brutality, you could just do the regular command grab, do the meter burn command grab, and then just finish them off with the brutal. I think all you have to do is hold forward for that one. So that's the initial combo that I that I watched uh, somebody's clip for playing this variation of Goro and they hit it in a real match which then obviously the next day I was playing with Goro online trying to get this and I did manage to get that one and I managed to get these other two as well. Uh, so this one you could actually start off with punch walk. It's kind of the same thing but you could start off with punch walk, which you will hit a lot more consistently than hitting someone with uh... So that one is uh, definitely an easier version to hit than uh, this one because you're not going to be hitting too many people with this specific move because the only two moves that actually grant you 
a combo after or with the meter burn flame is a forward three and a forward two one those are the only two combo strings that actually grant you a combo extension with this move right here um, so if you want to you know make it easier on yourself hit him with the low or something like that you could go with that and then uh, definitely practice on the uh, down one motion into the command grab but this is the one that I like to do. This is the one that I came up with. It's just the same concept, but instead you grab your opponent. And the good thing about these brutality finishes is it doesn't really matter if your opponent has like 1% life or it has like they have like 35% as long as you finish the opponent off before you grab them. So if you do if you do this, as long as your opponent has no life when you hit him with the grab, you're always going to be able to meter burn it, and that sort of counts as a combo. It's something unique for Mortal Kombat X. So you start off with the uh, back 1-2, two, up 2. And then you actually don't need to use a back 1-2 again. You can just do stand 2-1. Two, stand two, you have to do up 2 or up 1 into flame. Sometimes I press up first. That's a pretty easy combo, pretty simple. So you could finish you could finish off your brutality combo finish with the flame, with the meter burn flame, or you could do the stomp. Got to practice on the grab, not doing things too early. Ah, I didn't get my meter burned. All right. That's something you got to practice too. I failed on these combos many times when I actually try to do it online. Because I get too excited. I do things too early. I do things too late. See right there, I did my stand too too late. He hadn't recovered yet. It's just all about practice. And this is the kind of stuff that I do all the time. There you go. So all that is like a brutality combo finish. Even though it's not technically a combo, it's like a brutality sequence. But as long as you finish your opponent off and they have no life before you hit them with a meter burn grab, it's going to come. It's going to act like a combo. So you guys have seen those brutality finishes that I've done with those specific moves and the specific scenarios. And I think they look super fucking cool. So I guess this is not really a challenge, but if you guys want to try it online and you actually hit it, definitely send me a clip on Twitter. This is more like me just teaching you guys some really like three of my favorite combos and brutality combo sequences that I absolutely love in this game and I have a fun time trying to get them because <laughs> once you get them that dopamine rush that you get the feeling of accomplishment is beyond this world trust me if you actually go for these and you've never hit them before and you actually get them in a real match it will be like ugh the best feeling when it comes to playing Mortal Kombat X. This, this is why I love this game so much because specific combos like this. The Reptile one is just, I think it's difficult to get and just hitting it is satisfying enough. But with the Ermac combo, which I've only gotten once, uh, that one was amazing to hit. And then these with Big Daddy Goro are the same. They're so satisfying to hit, especially uh, the one that you start off with back one. I really like this one a lot because you could uh, either do it one or two ways. You go for, you know, something like that as well. Or you could do the stomp one. I think both of them look equally badass. So that's it. I just thought of, you know, fun little video today instead of having something online or having a story mode video or talking about Mortal Kombat 12. I thought I would do this little fun video for anyone who wants to challenge themselves a little bit and trying to get some of these uh, combo brutalities or the reptile one if you could hit the reptile one online i will be incredibly impressed because not even i have hit that one online i've actually seen somebody hit it like way back like four years ago when the esl tournaments were going on that's when i found out about that combo like way back but i feel like my execution has gotten better over time like before i couldn't even get halfway to the screen it just takes time um, so I've seen people hit that combo before so don't, don't uh, 
like I'm not acting like that combo is impossible to get because obviously it's not. If you can hit something in training mode, you can hit it in a real match. So I've seen people hit that in a real match. It's just shocking when they do because that shit is hard, especially with online and any sort of delay makes it even harder. But that's it for me. Thank you all so much. Hope you enjoyed this little fun video and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you want to see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.